Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to Holy Rosary and Mary Mother of God Parish Mass today as we honor St. Vincent de Paul. We begin this Mass in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. Let us call to mind the fact that we are sinners. We all stand in need of God's great mercy in our lives. We're sent to heal the sorrowful in heart, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We came to give hope to sinners in darkness, and so we ask, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We plead for our general redemption before our Heavenly Father, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the relief of poor and the formation of the clergy, endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues. Grant, we pray, that a fire with the same spirit, we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. This word of the Lord of hosts came. Thus the Lord of hosts, I am intensely jealous for Zion, stare to jealous wrath for her. Thus says the Lord, I will return to Zion and I will dwell within Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, all men, and all women, each with staff in hand because of old age, shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem. The city shall be filled with boys and girls playing in its streets. Thus says the Lord of hosts, even if this should seem impossible in the eyes of the remnant of this people, shall it in those days be impossible in my eyes also, says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Lo, I will rescue my people from the land of the rising sun and from the land of the setting sun. I will bring them back to dwell within Jerusalem. They shall be my people, and I will be their God with faithfulness and justice. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, the Lord will build up Zion again and appear in his glory. The Lord will appear in his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, the Lord will build Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height from heaven. He beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence. That the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it in the side 
and by his side and said to them, whoever receives a child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. But the one who is least among you all is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent them because he does not follow in our company. And Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. A little word on St. Francis, uh, uh, St. Uh, Vincent de, uh, de Sales. <clears throat> St. Vincent was born around 1560 and died um, in the 16th century. And he was canonized in the 17th century. He was, grew up, he was a son of a poor farmer but he managed to be able to get an education and he went to the university and was ordained a priest. He spent a lot of his time with the poor, the, the marginalized, those who, is, who just cast, uh, the society that just cast everybody who was so in, imperfect uh, outside, couldn't care for them. He did. He opened up, he, he opened up schools for kids. Uh, he um, uh, opened up uh, colleges and even seminaries for young men to study to become priests in the Catholic Church. Uh, today, the Vincentians number about a little less than 4,000. They still are teaching in schools and seminaries and in mission territories uh, throughout the world. And they all, all of their success, of course, not only to St. Vincent, but to God's great uh, glory. So today we honor him. He, and in fact, uh, as we well know, uh, 10 years ago, approximately 10 years ago, St. Vincent de Paul Parish here in North Scranton was assumed into the uh, community of Mary, Mother of God Church. So we, we have a special devotion to St. Vincent as well. Besides, your pastor was taught by the Vincentians in the seminary. So, blame them. <laughs> uh, I'd like to just say a word upon the first reading today when God was calling back all of the Jews from the diaspora. The diaspora means when Assyria conquered the northern kingdom of Israel uh, about 800 years before the coming of Christ and they deported all of the men and women, all the men and children uh, to, to the uh, uh, pagan kingdom. And then about 500 years before the coming of Christ, the Babylonian uh, exile took place. And that, and even more so, um, King Nebuchadnezzar, that's uh, uh, Andalus's good friend, he uh, took all of these Jews to uh, Babylon for, as slaves and so on and so forth. Well, the first reading today is calling about the time that God is calling his people back. He's calling them back to Palestine. He wants them to come home now, and he will take care of them. They will be his people, and he will be their God. And that group that did come back is called the remnant of Israel. Unfortunately, many of the other Jews didn't come back. They stayed in very populated areas in Europe and Asia and um, in the Middle East and so forth. They didn't come back to Palestine, but many of them did, and God made them again a great nation. And so we see that we have to be obedient to the word of God as St. Vincent de Paul was obedient to the word of God and gathered all of the people who were looked down upon 
in his society that they would be cared for and taken care of because just being a human person comes with great dignity. Doesn't matter what your name is or what you have or, or what your job is, or just being a human person made in the image and likeness of God requires great dignity and great respect on our part as well. And so again, uh, we have uh, St. Vincent coming to the, uh, the aid of, of God's poor. And in the gospel today, we see that uh, Jesus is saying that you have to be uh, attentive to one another. If you want to be great in the eyes of God, it's not what the great tasks you do or, or what, you know, who you're related to or any of that. It's, it's, it's those who want to be the greatest must be the least, a servant of all. And as a little child, a little child is dependent upon adults so that they can live their lives and teach them and feed them and clothe them and house them and so forth. We have to have that same type of dependent attitude toward Almighty God, toward Almighty God. St. Vincent used to say that those who count themselves as the poorest of the poor are the richest in the God's eyes. Let's take that home with us today. May I invite you to stand now and together let us all pray, offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Our response this morning, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may God's spirit be evident in our leadership and in our service so that the poor, the marginalized, and the victimized are not forgotten. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders and policy makers, may the spirit of God encourage work that fosters peace and justice in every nation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Jack Schofield, for whom this Mass is being offered, May they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother for her general intercessions as well. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, women. and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our, our death. death. Amen. Amen. Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have, this bread to offer which earth is given in human hands and made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have, this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice. We offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. May I invite you to stand and pray with me that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. O oh God, who established and enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of his sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of St. Vincent de Paul and all of your saints, you make the church fruitful in strength ever new and offer sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example leads us courage and fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all of the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Grant thee, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us with the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, O Lord, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted husband, St. Vincent de Paul, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints but please you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray now as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to stay our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share that peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us.
Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are we this morning who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O oh Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. For uh, we offer the blessing and dismissal, you might want to say a prayer in front of his statue, which is in the vestibule of our church, St. Vincent de Paul. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ to help one another, especially the poor. Thanks be to God. <laughs>